Meanwhile, as Florida begins the slow process of opening for business again, I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern is continuing to track COVID-19 infections and the number of available ICU beds. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recently launched a new map looking at how many ICU beds are in use in states across the country. Take a look at this map. The states in lighter orange mean there are more available ICU beds, while the states darker in color show less ICU beds available. Florida has about 66% of its ICU beds occupied. Our neighbor, Alabama, is in a darker shade because about 73% of its ICU beds are full. Locally in Tampa Bay, about 31% of ICU hospital beds were available as of Monday, down from 40% about a month ago. 21 Tampa Bay hospitals have less than 30% of adult ICU beds free. Local hospitals with less than 5% of ICU beds available include St. Joseph's Hospital, Largo Medical Center, and Lakeland Regional Medical Center. Florida has just lifted restrictions and opened some of its beaches and businesses. It's unclear what impact this will have on COVID-19 cases, but we will continue to track these numbers to keep you and your family informed. I'm my team investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you.